okay, you guys? Uh, this is going to be something special that I'm sharing with you now. This is about being a disciple of Three Hearts Church Ministry. I felt led by the Holy Spirit and with the help of Pastor Erustus to put together some requirements for those who would like to be considered disciples of Three Hearts Church Ministry. Many times in the past, I have had people come to the church for water baptism and various other things who were not truly saved. They were not part of this ministry. They were not hungering and thirsting for righteousness. And how I know that is they were giving me textbook answers for the questions and things I was asking. But as I watched their life and even as they went away from this ministry, some, uh, one person went away instantly. So then I could see that they weren't really truly led to this ministry in the first place. But more than that, they weren't really hungering and thirsting after righteousness, seeking for Jesus Christ, loving and serving him in obedience. So... It's my job to teach and equip the saints to live a righteous life. And I will no longer be administering the following. Water baptism, prayer for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, laying on of hands, del uh, deliverance, baby dedications, officiating marriages or funerals, unless the discipleship program requirements have been fulfilled first, ahead of time. To find the discipleship requirements, go to the church website, then go to the sermons page, and in the um, search engine, the filter, put, type in the word disciple, and it will populate for you. This actually, this little message right here will come up. And if you go down to the bottom of the page, you'll see the link to the uh, discipleship requirements. It'll be there for you. You have to open up that document in order to get to the requirements, okay? Part of the program is required study material. As servants of the Lord, we are required to study His Word. There are currently 37 teachings that I have put together to help you learn and grow in Christ. That is about a 19-week course if you watch two sermons a week. There are a few more foundational teachings that I would like to include in the program, and I will update the discipleship document once I give those sermons, and I'll try to remember when I give those sermons to let you guys who've already completed the discipleship program to let you know this is a new teaching that I'm going to add to that. Okay, and then we'll just update that document out there um, if I revise it or add to it, and we'll just update it then. But too many people are just giving, as I, I'm saying, those textbook answers in America, and they don't even know Jesus. And I want to be sure that those who come here are truly saved. They're really learning, growing, and maturing in the faith. And that's my job. That's what God has called me to do as a pastor and a minister serving on his altar. Um, so that's what, that's what led me to put these requirements together. I'm seeing too many people that are just going through the motions thinking that they're just going to put a check mark. Done that. And it didn't even matter. I baptized one lady twice and she's not even saved yet. And so she has come here and cried tears and said, oh, you know, she wanted to get her life right and all of this. So she's continued to, you know, not be honest with me. And so I am trying to take the steps to be more cautious and to protect my anointing and my call and my authority in the Lord and to help you guys. I'm not doing anybody a service by doing these things. And then come find out they, they didn't even love Jesus. They weren't even truly saved. They aren't even living for him. And they don't even understand that what they did doesn't mean anything. You know, I know someone close to me that went to a church that they don't even attend, was baptized by that pastor, and then they went on to live their life the way they've always lived it. And they think that that, 
that they, you know, met the requirement when Jesus said we must be water baptized. And they're not even living for him. So we want to cut some of the nonsense out. And uh, those teachings will really bless you. They'll minister to you. They'll help you to grow up in the faith. So go there and check out um, the Discipleship Requirements Program. Because if you ever need me to do a service for you as a minister of God serving on his altar, you will need to meet those requirements first. All right, that's what I have to share with y'all. God bless y'all. Thanks for listening.